Hey there, it's Pokemaniac Andy, and we're here because you know what day it is, and when you see it's not Pokemon, it's Sunday, and it's time for Sentinel Sunday. And I'm super excited because, well, I'm not super excited because I'm still waiting for the expansion to release on this. This could be out any day now, so you might get a bonus episode of Sentinel Sunday, Sunday not on Sunday when Rook City comes out, because I am so excited because I love, uh, well, I love one of the characters, one of the new heroes, I love the villains... I love the environments out of it, so... Yeah. If you don't already know, I already know what's in it, because I have the exp I have the expansion for it, for the card game, and I love Rook City, and... Yeah. Not as much as Infernal Relics, Shadow Timelines is my favorite, by far. I cannot wait for that to come out on here. But anyways, enough of that. We have to figure out our villain. So I'm thinking we'll either do Ambu Scad or Mad Bomber Baron Blade, so whichever comes up first in the randomizer. So we're doing Ambuscade, and we have Raw, Legacy, and Haka. Why do we always get Haka? <laughs> and Insula Primalis. So Ambuscade's a little bit of an interesting villain. He normally focuses, most of his attacks focus around his equipment and setting traps. So we'll see how this turns out. With, with dealing with the dinosaurs of Insula Primalis. You can't hear the chair. Can't. No. Okay. Sorry, my chair is super squeaky again. I have found. I have found. <clears throat> I have found my prey. My prey. Your time runs short. Au revoir. You shall burn under the baleful gaze of the sun. I don't know how to do Ra's voice. So, of course, as always, Amusket starts out first, but in his setup, he has to set up uh, as many devices as there are here. Heroes in play. Now I'll go over them when it is our turn. I'll go over with him and I'll go over his devices. So, when it is our turn. Okay, so Ambuscad is the superhuman hunter. At the start of the game, Ambuscad enters play superhuman hunter side up. Cards are revealed from the top of the deck, from the villain deck, until, oh, only two of our device cards, so it's, um, number of players minus one, uh, are revealed and put into play. The other revealed cards are shuffled back into the villain deck. At the end of the villain turn, Ambuska deals a hero target with the highest HP to projectile damage. Oh, and he's a cause nemesis, so this could be very interesting. So that's what that little mark right there means. His devices are the automated turret at the end of the villain turn. This card deals a hero target with the highest HP to projectile damage. Redu excuse me. Reduce damage dealt to Ambuscade and this card by one. At the, fir the first, excuse me. First time a target deals damage to Ambuscade, each turn this this card deals that target two energy damage. And we have the explosive launcher. At the end of the villain turn, Ambuscade deals to each hero target three fire damage. So and Ra has right now he has the blazing tornado, which is an ongoing limited card. If you do not know what this what this game is. It's a card card based game as it is the real life and um, around the three symbols of play where you play a card you use a power as it's described right here. It's also an innate power on the character card and you draw. So that's the, that's your turn order. So we have the Blazing Tornado which has a power of raw deals one target three damage. We have the Inferno. Raw deals one target three fire damage. Raw deals each up to up to five other targets, one fire damage. It's a one shot. One shot me being, it's a one off use. Limited just means there's going to only be one in play at a time. We have an ongoing card. So when this card, which means it just, as it, as it sounds like, it just keeps going. When this card enters play, Raw deals one, one target, two fire damage, and Raw deals one target, one fire damage, and you may draw a card. And Scorched Earth, Raw deals each non-hero target X fire damage, or X equals the number of environment cards in play. So those are the four cards Ra, Ra has right now. I don't know why he's pushing you. Okay. So, Blazing Tornado up first. And I'm going to Blazing Tornado the Explosive Launcher. Because that needs to go, like, right now. So we have Legacy. America's Greatest Legacy, with his innate power Galvanize, until the, until the start of your next turn, increase damage dealt by hero targets by one. He has the Backfist Strike, which is one target, four melee damage. 
He has lead from the front whenever a hero target would be dealt damage. You may redirect that damage to Legacy. So you have a choice of redirecting it to Legacy. Motivational charge. Legacy deals one target, two melee damage, and each hero regains one HP. And next evolution. Legacy is immune to damage type of your choice until the start of your next turn. So I'm just going to go for the, I don't know, backfist strike. And finish off that launcher. I know it's a little bit of a waste of one damage, but... We need to get rid of that launcher, and I'm going to galvanize! And then finally we have the Always Hakka. With his innate power Crush, Hakka deals one target, two melee damage. And he has Dominion, whenever an environment card is destroyed, you may draw a card. Mare, Hakka deals one target, two melee damage, draw a card. Punish the weak. Whenever Hakka would damage the non-hero target with the lowest HP, increase that damage by one. Whenever Hakka would deal damage to any other target, reduce that power by one, and destroy this card. Rampage. Hakka deals each non-hero target 5 melee damage, and each hero target 2 melee damage. So, I don't know what I want to put in play. I'm just going to put Dominion in play. And I'm going to use Crush. I'm going to use Crush on the Reactive Plating. And now it's the Environment's turn. Environment plays, oh, of course it plays Primordial Plant Life for the first freaking turn. So whenever this card enters play, each hero may destroy one of their ongoing cards. Deal damage that, deal any hero that destroys an ongoing card two toxic damage. Deal any hero that does not destroy an ongoing card four toxic damage. I'm not going to destroy either of mine, so I'm going to take, everybody's going to take four. This may, that decision may come back to haunt me, but I stand by it. And Hawkeye gets to draw a card because of Dominion. So he plays Snatch and Grab. He has a target with the highest HP, one melee damage, and two and two energy damage. So who has the highest? Well, we're not going to give it to Hakka, because... So I'm just going to give it to Legacy. One melee and two energy to Legacy. Then he's going to do two projectile to Ra, and then two projectile to Hakka. So we picked up... Excavation. Put up to three cards from environment trash on the bottom of your environment, you, environment deck. Wow. You may draw as many cards as you move this way. So there's not there's only one card in the environment trash right now, so we don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to play Inferno. I'm going to do three damage to the reactive plating. Two damage to the automatriot. And if I do two damage to him, the reactive plating is going to do me too as well. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, the Blazing Tornado is going to come out. And it's going to do 3 damage to the Reactor Plating. So like it sees Galvanize goes away. I'm going to play Boaster Allies, which will let everybody draw a card. So Ra gets another Inferno. Legacy gets another Next Evolution. And Hakka gets Hakka of Shielding. I'll go over that in, in a minute. And Galvanize! So we picked up Elbow Smash, with Hakka deals one target three melee damage, and Hakka of Shielding. Draw two cards, then discard one or more cards. Reduce the next damage dealt to Hakka by two for each card discarded this way. It's an interesting way to, if you know a large hit is coming. Oh, we have another Rampage, too. I'm going to play... I don't know what I want to play. I'm going to play Elbow Smash, and I'm going to Elbow Smash the Automated Turret for four. Then I'm going to use Hakka's Crush to get rid of the Reactive Plating. My playstyle is very, it's not really go for the main person, but go get rid of everything else, which does hi does hinder me sometimes. So the Pterodactyl Thief comes, I'll go over that in a sec. Uh, quick Stim Patch. I'm just going to regain 3 HP, shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck, and play the top card of the villain deck. And he plays another reactive plating. And Hakka and Legacy take down. So the Pterodactyl Thief. At the start of the environment turn, destroy all equipment cards. Put cards that destroy this way beneath this card. Then this card deals each hero target X Sonic damage, where X equals the number of cards beneath this card. When this card is destroyed, return the cards beneath this card to, this ha to the hand. So I'm just going to play Inferno again, but this time I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to hit Ambuscad this time. So I don't get hit by the reactive plating. 
And then I'm going to use the Blazing Tornado on the Reactive Plating for another 3 damage. So, Legacy picked up another lead from the front, so I'm just going to put Motivational Charge in play. And I'm going to Galvanize. Ooh, Inspiring Presence. I love that card. So we picked up... Hakala regenera uh, rest Restoration. Draw two cards and discard one or more cards. Hakala regains HP equal to the number of cards. So that's a good card to have. And actually, I may play it. Let's pick up. So we don't need another Dominion. We don't need Punish... I don't, I don't really use Punish the Weak. And we don't really need... I'll keep Mare. I'll keep the rest of these. So I'll stop here. So he regains two HP. I'm going to use Crush on the React Plating. Because nobody has an, any equipment cards out right now, so the Tardactyl Thief won't really do much. So yeah, see, he'll do zero damage to everybody. Oh no, not the Enraged T-Rex. The environment turn of this card deals to target other than itself, so it did five to Haka. So, so another quick stim patch, so shuffles the trash back in. He gets Vanish. Which brings out his personal cloaking device and makes him invincible. Because that flips him. Start the villain turn, if the personal cloaking device is not in play, Amuscad flips. Amuscad is immune to damage. Then the villain turn, Amuscad deals the target with the lowest HP, 2 energy damage. So that's what that is. So... Well, since there's two of them in play, let's play Scorched Earth. Which will do 2 fire damage, because there's 2 environment cards in play. And it will do three because of Legacy's Galvanize. I'm just got his immune to that, to the reactive plating. Three to both the Enraged T-Rex and the... And then I'm going to do Blazing Tornado. The Personal Cloaking Device. Oh, finally we get Summon Staff. So we picked up Inspiring Presence, which when this card enters play, each hero target regains one HP. Increased damage dealt to heroes by one. And Legacy is going to lead by example and and punch the cloaking device. So the only thing Haka can attack is the Enraged T-Rex, which does which does suck, mind you. But I'm going to put the T Moko in play to reduce da this card reduces damage dealt to Haka by one. We have the, also the Savage Mana. Whenever Haka destroys a card, you may put this card beneath this card. Destroy all cards beneath this card. Haka deals one target X toxic damage, where X equals the number of cards destroyed this way times two. Which is always nice to have. I do three damage to the T-Rex. Of course you play. So Ra can destroy. I am not destroying that. Legacy... We'll get rid of the motivational charge, and we'll get rid of Dominion. Then Ra takes four. And then five to Legacy because of the Rage T-Rex. So Amuscad will flip back over. Oh no, not this card. This, it increases damage dealt by Amuscad by one, and every time you destroy a device, we do two energy damage. So we're going to be mainly focusing on him. So I'm going to summon Ra's Staff. Which will heal him for three. And increase the damage of Blazing Tornado. By five. So. we put Surge of Strength in play. Which will increase damage dealt by Legacy by one. And we're going to Galvanize. I'm going to play a of Restoration. So we pick up two cards. I'm going to get rid of that. Mare. One of the Rampages. One of the Savage... And one of the Savage Manas. So we're going to regain four HP. And Hakka uses Crush. Which will do five to Abyssgod because it's two... Plus Legacy's Galvanized, plus Inspiring Presence, plus he's Hakka's Nemesis. So it's another 5 to Amuska. So that's 10 damage already this turn. And oh, the River of Lava. So it's only going to do 4 to Hakka. And Ra has to destroy his staff already. 
and Legacy and Haka take damage from the Liver of Lava. Because if you don't destroy an equipment card, you take damage. And he's going to deal... He's going to do 5 damage to Raw. And he's going to take projectile damage. Alright, since there is 2... Plus Legacy's Galvanized, so this will do 4 damage to everything. And then Blazing Tornado. I could have got rid of the T-Rex. Is it to the lowest HP? The second highest HP. So I'm going to bolster allies. So everybody gets to draw a card. And Galvanize. I'm really iffy about playing Hakaz Rampage right now. But I'll play the Taiaha. So do two targets, three, but because of all the boosts, I can get rid of the Enraged T-Rex. And I can hit Ambush God for six. So if we agree to discard the top three cards of our deck, we can get rid of the River of Lava, which is nice. And Obsidian Field comes into play. Increase all damage dealt by one. The unavoidable Explosive. When this card enters play, shuffle it face up into the villain deck. When this card is face up on the top of the villain deck, it does damage. So it does a lot of random increasing, but 4 to a car. So I'm going to play Summon Staff. So we draw a Solar Flare and we get our Staff. Well, it has a Staff, it recovers 3 HP and increases damage. So he's doing 7 damage right now. And no, I do not want to discard 2 cards. I said no. Oh. Oh well. I can get rid of one of the Solar Flares and one of the Flesh of the Sun God. It is Legacy's turn, and Legacy is going to do... I'm going to do Heroic Interception. When this card enters play, Legacy deals himself 3 melee damage. Hero targets other than Legacy are immune to damage. I forgot he all the increases that that happens with. But everybody else is immune to damage, except for Legacy, so I still do not want to use Rampage. I'll put Savage Man into play, and do 6 to Ambuscade. See so the environment turn, oh, Velociraptor pack. So they're going to do 2 melee damage to Legacy. Because they, they do damage, it's 2 damage for every Raptor pack in play. There's another unavoidable explosive, and... Ra is immune to projectile damage because of the heroic interception. Alright. I'm going to put the... I'm going to play... Living Conflagulation and damage. Ambuscade for 5. And then Blazing Tornado for 6. And I'm going to put Motivational Charge into play. And we're going to finish off Ambuscade. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have defeated Ambuscade, the superhuman hunter. If you liked the video, remember to hit that like button. If you, um... You leave a comment down below of what you would like to see in this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing this for fun. If you have suggestions for this, I'll be happy to take them. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, yeah, next week we should have Rook City expansion out, so we'll do a special Rook City episode of Sentinel Sunday, featuring as many of the Rook City cards as I can. And, yes, I don't know what else to say. There's something I wanted to say. Oh, yeah, this is the first, this is actually the first time we've defeated a villain in the first try. Which is, yeah, we didn't defeat Baron Blade or Omniton the first time. So, yeah. That's awesome. Again, hope you enjoyed it. And remember, folks, you're all awesome, and I'll see you all next time.